Hello, this is part two of the sample test questions on average total cost, average variable cost, and average fixed cost. Okay, here's our first question, question 15. The firm uses only one type of variable input, labor, which is paid an hourly wage of $30. Assuming the average product of labor per hour is 40, what is the average variable cost? Here are our answer choices. And the correct answer is D. How did I solve that? Average variable cost can be calculated as the wage divided by the average product of labor. The wage is 30, average product of labor is 40, so 30 divided by 40 gives us an answer of 75 cents. Answer D. Question 16. Which of the following must always be true? Average total cost is greater than average fixed cost. That is true. Average variable cost is greater than average variable cost. That is not necessarily true. Average fixed cost is greater than average variable cost. That is not necessarily true. And answer choice D, average total cost is greater than average variable cost. That is true. So the correct answer here is going to be A and D. How did I solve that? Or how do you think about solving that? Key thing to think about is this expression here. Average total cost equals average variable cost plus average fixed cost. So average total cost is comprised of average variable cost plus average fixed cost. Therefore, average total cost has to be bigger than average variable cost. And average total cost also has to be bigger than average fixed cost. Uh, as for whether average variable cost is greater than average fixed cost, uh, we don't have enough information. Question 17, a firm's total cost is given by this equation. Which of the following equations are correct? Average variable cost is 1 plus Q. That is going to be correct. So the total variable cost is Q plus Q squared, this part of the equation. And if you divide that through by Q, you get average variable cost. So Q plus Q squared divided by Q gives us average variable cost. Average fixed cost is 25 divided by Q. Well, the total fixed cost here is just a constant, or 25. If you divide that through by Q, you get average fixed cost. So statement two is correct. And statement three is correct. Why? Because average total cost is nothing more than average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So adding those prior two equations together, you will have average total cost. Alternatively, you could take this total cost equation and divide it completely through by Q and you'll get average total cost. So the correct answer here is D. All of those statements are correct. Uh, bonus question. Suppose a firm's cost is given by the following equation. Which of the following equations are correct? So the correct answer choice here is C. Average fixed cost is going to be 10 divided by Q, not 10 times Q. So average fixed cost is 10 divided by Q. Average total cost is going to be uh, 10 divided by Q plus 2.5, so just taking this equation and dividing it through completely by Q, you get average total cost, so statement B is incorrect. And the average variable cost is 2.5. You take this 2.5 Q and divide it through by Q, you're left with average variable cost. Moving on, uh, some questions now, graphical questions. Which of the following statements are true? Curve one is marginal cost, that is correct. Curve 2 is average total cost. That is correct. Curve 3 is average variable cost. That is correct. Average total cost will always lie above average variable cost. So all these statements are correct. Answer choice A. Another graphical question. At Q equals 4, average fixed cost is approximately. So at 4 units of output. We want to calculate average fixed cost. Average fixed cost is just the difference between average total cost, curve 2, and average variable cost, curve 3. So this is approximately, looks like here, about a $2 difference. So the correct answer choice here is going to be C. At Q equals 7, average total cost is approximately. At seven units of output, we walk up here to curve two, which is average total cost. This is a little bit over $6, so 
rounding here, we'll say average total cost is approximately $6. Answer choice B. Oh, let's do a true and false question here. Average variable cost equals marginal cost at 4.5 units of output. Well, here's 4.5 units of output, and it looks like here marginal cost equals average total cost. So this is false. Where marginal cost equals average variable cost, that's a little under three units of output. All right, uh, some more questions here. Uh, question 21. At Q equals six, average total cost equals, well, equals $6. And total cost will equal average total cost times the quantity of output, or 6 times 6, or $36. So the correct answer choice for 21 is A. Again, at 6 units of output, average total cost is $6. What is total cost? It's just average total cost times quantity. Question 22. At Q equals 8, average variable cost is? So plugging this 8 into the average variable cost curve, we see that average variable cost is $6. And total variable cost is just going to be average variable cost times the quantity, so 6 times 8, and that should be $48. So it looks like answer choice B is the correct answer. So indeed, answer choice B is correct. And question 23, the firm's total fixed cost is $6. What is the firm's average total cost of producing 10 units of output? All right, so at uh, 10 units of output, average variable cost is $7. We know the firm has a total fixed cost of $6. So what is average fixed cost? Average fixed cost is going to be 6 divided by 10, or 60 cents. And we're trying to calculate average total cost here, which is just average variable cost plus average fixed cost. So once again, at 10 units of output, average variable cost is $7, average fixed cost is 60 cents. So adding those two numbers together, we get $7.60. Okay, moving on. Okay, question 24. The firm's total fixed cost is $24. What is the firm's average variable cost at Q equals eight? Okay, so at Q equals eight, Average total cost is $11, which I have written here. We need to get average fixed cost, which is 24 divided by 8, or $3. What is the firm's average variable cost then? So it's just going to be 11 minus 3, or $8. So again, average total cost is just average fixed cost plus average variable cost. So in this case, average variable cost must be $8, 11 minus 3. Okay, moving on. At the efficient scale of output, average total cost is? Correct answer is C. How did I solve that? At four units of output, that's the efficient scale. What is average total cost at four units of output? $8. Moving on. Uh, we got a table here. The firm has $1,000 of fixed cost. The only variable input is labor, which is paid a wage of $200 per worker. What is the average total cost of producing 20 units of output? Well, when we produce 20 units of output, we need two workers, so that's going to be important for us. Let's look at the answer choices here. And I'm suggesting the answer choice is A. How did I get that? Well, I get the total variable cost. The total variable cost is going to be the $200 times the number of workers needed to produce 20 units. So 200 times 2 is total variable cost. The total fixed cost is 1,000. So in the numerator, I have the firm's total cost of $1,400. If we divide that by the output, we get average total cost of $70. So that is the correct answer. Another table question. Firm has, once again, $1,000 of fixed cost. The only variable input is labor, which is a paid a wage of $200 per worker. What is the average variable cost of producing 25 units of output? So we want to get the average variable cost, the AVC, of producing 25 units of output. Key thing to note here is that 25 units of output, the firm requires three workers. So three workers being paid $200 each is the total variable cost. 
If we divide that by the output, we get average variable cost of $24. So the correct answer choice here is A. And question 28, the firm has $1,000 of fixed cost. The only variable input is labor, which is paid a wage of $200 per worker. What is the average fixed cost of producing 100 units of output? Well, all we need to do here is take 1,000 and divide it by 100 to get $10. So the answer choice here is D. Average fixed cost is fixed cost divided by output. Okay, that's it.